Hi there, I'm Steve Knutson. I'm a Microsoft MVP based in Christchurch, New Zealand. And today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a leave policy using Copilot in Microsoft Word and then take that leave policy and generate SharePoint related content uh, to support that on your intranet. So we're going to start by jumping into Microsoft Word. Um, most organizations will already have a leave policy, but let's assume we haven't and we want to draft one. So in Word with Copilot, I'm just going to paste in my prompt, which I've created earlier. So this prompt uh, says create a leave policy for the following types of leave, annual leave, sick leave, study leave, bereavement leave. Employees must, have, uh, must apply two weeks before the leave, um, with the exception of bereavement. Um, they get four weeks annual leave, two weeks sick leave, and three days bereavement leave if it's a close relative. So we're just going to use that to generate a draft policy for me. Um, you don't, if you have already got a policy, then of course you can use this policy instead of drafting one from the beginning. But you'll see the key point here is that it's created some content for me with sections in here, and you'll see it's got um, a little bit of detail in each section that it's built out. So that's great. Now we've got the policy document. Um, if you've if you've already got one, you can do the same thing just by navigating to that document in SharePoint. So if I navigate to my SharePoint site, you'll see I've got a document here called Leave Policy, created a few seconds ago. I'm going to click the three dots, and I am going to choose, um, whoops, it's already favorited. I'm just going to choose Favorite, which is going to favorite that document. And when I do that, it's going to add it to my favorites in OneDrive. So hopping over to OneDrive, you'll see in here my Leave Policy is now linked in here. Now this is where the magic happens. If I click and select my document, I get this Copilot option on the ribbon. And from here, I can generate an FAQ file. So what I'm going to use this content for is to generate the FAQs for the intranet, um, which are a summarized version of the policy. Um, and we're going to make this a little bit nicer for people to, uh, to read. So we're going to generate this from here. And you'll see it's created quite a number of FAQs for me. It's still going. And, and then down the bottom, I'm just going to go copy. I'm going to copy the content. I can regenerate this if I wanted to, but I'm just going to copy the content. Now I'm going to hop over into my SharePoint site. And in SharePoint, I've got a um, manager's toolbox. So I'm going to use it and link it to here somehow. So let's go and have a look in uh, the, um, here I'm going to create a new page. I'll start with a blank page. We can, of course, create a draft if we want to um, collaborate on this page, but I'm just going to create from a blank page uh, just for the purposes of the demo. So now that I've got my page in here, I'm just going to give it a title. I'm just going to call it Leave FAQs. Um, I'm going to give it an image at the top just to make it look a bit nicer. So I'll browse my images, pick this one here, which looks like it's holiday related. And then down in here, I'm going to paste my text. So that's great. I can go publish this file now. And if I publish that, um, I could be happy enough to say my job is done. But there's wait, there's more. If I go back to my page and edit this page, I can use Copilot to actually generate content directly within SharePoint. So a couple of things I can do. First thing I could do here is, obviously I've got my document, I might want to link this to the file. So I could just generate a link um, manually. So I need to create the link and then add it here. Um, but perhaps I want to rewrite some of this content. Maybe this is a wee bit wordy. And you'll see down here, it's got this bit here about being generated, AI generated. You might want to keep that in there if your policy about AI generated content tells you to do so. Um, but what I'm going to do is I am going to select this block of text. And then from the little ribbon here, I'm going to use the Copilot option to auto rewrite. So I'm going to make this a wee bit better for me. So let's hide the toolbox there. And see if we can generate an improved version of this text. Okay, so still looks pretty similar to what we've got. Maybe we want to change the tone of this a wee bit. Perhaps we want to make this more concise. So shorten it down. And now we've got a shorter version of that content, but actually perhaps we don't really like that. Maybe that wasn't what we wanted after all. So we're going to make it longer again. But perhaps the tone's the issue. So once we've generated this, I'm going to go back in here and go, actually, the bit that I want to do is just this part here. So I'm just going to highlight the this piece here. And now what I'm going to do is, sorry, got this wrong. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to go, sorry, adjust and make it sound a little more engaging. And 
and you'll see it'll sort of reformat the text and make it perhaps a little bit nicer to read for people. So I'm just going to replace that text. Now if I wanted to include some additional text in here, I can simply go in and add in another um, uh, another web part above this one. So I'm just going to go in above here, add another text web part. And in the text web part, um, you'll see if I go into the Copilot options, they're grayed out. But if I type the prompt in here, so um, uh, write, uh, so definition of annual leave. So I'm going to put that in there, I'm going to highlight it, and then I'm going to use Copilot to auto rewrite that content. And you'll see it's just basically definition of vacation time, which is not very helpful. So I'm just going to so make this longer. And then what it should do, hopefully, is give us a bit of a definition of um, exploring the meaning of annual leave. Okay, so we're kind of heading in the right direction here as a starting point. So I'm just going to replace that text and it's now pop that into that text box on the page. I'm just going to do a republish of my page again now. And now you'll see I've got the page generated with my meaning of annual leave and then a definition down here generated by Copilot, which I can obviously manually tidy up. Uh, to complete the job. So this is a really quick way of creating um, starter content in your intranet. Um, much of uh, many intranets are, are either um, uh, sort of poor in terms of content, they might have just document content, content on there and the time to generate the more digestible content is quite hard. So this is a nice way to produce this faster uh, and get yourself up and going. Um, it's also great if you're just wanting to build demo content when you're demoing something to people before you've actually gone live and you actually want to create something that looks realistic um, as well rather than the old um, Lauren Ipsum text. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, if it is, uh, please uh, share the video around. Thank you.